those, those two arms out there today, I guess you just couldn't quite get the bats going against those two guys? Well, the guy starting against us is a sinker, ball, slider guy, and, and uh, our, our offensive game plan was to hunt elevation. I thought he located really well. We had a lot of weak contact. We didn't strike out a lot against him, but we had a lot of weak contact against him. And then the guy they brought at the end is just, he's got a really good change up and he's got a good arm. So I'm really disappointed that we didn't hit the ball better, but I thought we played great defense and I thought Izzy threw a great game. I mean, you mentioned the ice, sir. It seemed like early on and maybe fighting a thing here or two that he really was able to settle in and become pretty dominant at the end. Yeah, I mean, he competed his rear end off, which he does every time he goes out the mound. Even when he does now, is good stuff. But I thought after the second inning, he was really, really, really good. And being able to stay out there as long as he did, what does that mean to you? Well, it helps our team out because we have all these fresh arms ready to go for the next two days. So, you know, I mean, I think he ended up only throwing like 104 pitches for eight innings, which is, I mean, that's outstanding. That means you're getting ahead of people and getting people out. I mean, Munt comes in such a big spot, walks the first guy, but he was able to come back from there and get that out. I mean, is that going to be? Joey Munt's going to be a stud. He's just got to get some D1 experience yeah. and um, I mean, he's got a great arm. He's a guy we're probably going to be seeing a little bit more of here since with Mitchell Verber going. Yeah, down absolutely. Like that. Yeah, I mean, and you know, Joey's going to get some innings in him. Absolutely. You talk, talked about their starter there. Do you feel like um, you guys should have had more hits against him? Or? You know, like I said, I mean, sometimes sinker ball guys, if they're staying down in the zone and they're getting strikes called that that are down there in the zone, I mean, those guys are hard to hit. I mean, we had like, how many ground balls do we have? I mean, sinker ball guys create ground balls, and we had a lot of a lot of really soft ground balls were hit because the ball sinks. Is, go for it. Oh. Is, is Bo going to be out for the entire weekend then? I know you were thinking he was maybe going to be able to. You know, we talked about it today. We, d we knew he definitely wasn't going to play today, and it's the day-to-day -day thing. I'm, I'm hoping he'll be able to play by Sunday. I'd like to see him get a game under his belt before we play Oregon next week. And is there an update on Mitchell then? There is not. You know, like I told you, I told, you guys asked me that the other day. I told you he's going to go see a specialist down in Dallas next week. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I thought you were here. Maybe you weren't. Sorry oh, about I was. That. I just didn't know when. Yeah, that, that's what I said. Next that week. was. Yeah. yeah. With the midweek, uh, I guess, problems you've been having, this is another non conference foe that you've had problems against. Are you worried about the postseason against the non conference? No, that's a ridiculous question. I'm not trying to be rude, but that has nothing to do with non-conference this tonight's game. I mean, there, I thought we played really well and we didn't hit the ball. Thanks. Yep.